All right, hey guys, how you guys doing? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I was just a little bored, so I just uh, thought I might do another video on my camera equipment. Um, those of you who are wondering, this little box is a dry box. Um, I keep almost all my gear in here. I don't have that much, you know, equipment, so this little box is enough for me. Um, and so what it is is it, uh, I put in these um, dry uh, you know gels that suck uh, moisture out you know and uh, I put them in there so it keeps it dry and um, so it has these locks on the side and it has a little rubber ceiling I don't know if it's rubber or silicon 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 or whatever um, but you know so it keeps all the moisture and dust also doesn't get in so it's a great little box it's not that expensive and um, on the lid, actually, those of you who are wondering, it looks like this. Um, I know you can't read it, but this is not the thing that sucks the moisture out. Now, this is really cool. What it is is that it releases um, these gas or whatever that um, protects the lens from um, getting uh, germ. I mean, not germs, but uh, funguses from growing. So what you want to do is you want to put these on there and. Um, Along with the, uh, along with these, that um, that uh, dries up, that sucks the uh, moisture out. So I keep both of them in there, and it's really great. And talking about this box, um, what's another th cool thing about this box is that it comes with the uh, metering thing. So it tells you, you know, if it's dry, if it's too dry, or if it's best, or if it's wet. You want to keep it in the best range. I like it, you know, closer to the dry. You know, just you know, it's just my, st uh, you know, my preference. And it fits right in here. So what's in my, what's in the box? Um, I hope you guys can see. Oh, okay. So first of all, you know, let's start with this. My latest edition. This is the uh, Think Tank. Um, I don't know the name for it, but you know, I know you guys have seen this, but this is really awesome. Um, I've only used it once because I just recently purchased it, but it's a bell curl. Um, and uh, you know, you can fit a whole bunch of cards, you know, and I have about 32 gigs worth right now, you know, six cards, I can fit more. I heard that you can fit like 20, some guys do it, um, and you can just roll it and it has a little strap so you can strap it onto your belt or your bag and uh, it's really nice so you, can't, you, you, you won't drop it or lose it and you don't want to lose your cards. Um, <clears throat> next up is I got my Nikon FE2 film camera. Now, I have a, a different video talking about this, so I'm not going to talk about it right now, but this is a great camera. Um, it's an old camera, but it's really nice. Currently, I have the Kodak Professional uh, E100 uh, Ektachrome Film Inversible, uh, the positive ones. Um, it's a great camera. Right, so if you want to check, if you want to know the details on this, check my other video out. Um, okay, and next I have the Canon 580EX2 uh, strobe. It's a great strobe. It's a little big, but it's nice. Um, and then, you know, like I said, I have these uh, little gels that you know sucks up the moisture and these things last like I don't know like a like between three months and a year depending on how moist your room is or how often you open the lid or close it um, and you can always tell if you shake it and if you can still hear it shaking it's fine you know but once you and, and if, and if you shake it, if it doesn't, if you don't hear anything, it means that it's you know it's already it's it's done. You can't you, you should replace it. Um, I got uh, film Probia 400X. I haven't used it yet. 
Um, all right, the next lens. Now this is a pretty old lens. I mean, not like old as an antique old, but this is a 100 to 400. Uh, I mean, 100 to 300 lens. It's a Canon. Um, it doesn't have any IS, so um, you really need to get those high shutter speeds to, uh, you know, not get any uh, any uh, hand uh, you know, blurry images or anything. But and this is old. And I don't, I don't know. I used this at, at a zoo uh, a few days ago, and it, it turned out really well, actually. Um, I mean, better than I thought. I might want to better get. I might. I I really want to get a lens with an IS, so I'm looking into getting a Sigma one, or they just released a, uh, they just announced that, you know, the 100-300 uh, L lens, which looks really great, so I might want to get that once that's out, but that's in November. Um, so this is a great lens, actually. Um, I, you're probably going to get this pretty cheap, but it's not a bad lens. Alright, and what else I have? This is, uh, this is a little case for my Nikon FE2 film camera. Now, this is my main camera. Yep, and as you guys guessed it, it's the Canon 5D Mark II. And attached is a 35 1.4 lens. Yep, I've used this for, I haven't used it for a year, um, but I've been using it a lot lately, so I've started to get like scratches on it. I actually was carrying both my film camera and my 5D2 at the same time, and this actually banged, like it hit each other, and um, it made a big scratch right here, and can't see it on the web right now, but yeah, you can kind of see it. You know, I'm kind of pissed, but oh well, you know, it happens. It means that you're using it. Um, the lens, the 35 1.4L is a great, great lens. Um, it's, a li it's a little wide for like snapshots, and but for indoors and close-up shots of portraits, man, it's amazing. Um, you should check out my Flickr account. I have a whole bunch of pictures there. Um, most of them are shot with this, and the older ones I've shot with the Nikon D300, which was my camera that I used to have before, you know, which was a great camera also, but I like this 5D Mark II better. Um, you know, it's just per personal preferences. Um, yeah, so this is the main camera I use. And um, what else? Oh, I got the um, Canon Professional. Uh, strap and you know those of you who doesn't know about this strap it's it doesn't mean that you're professional of course um, it just says that and um, the thing is the 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 pad I mean the part the strap itself is short it's shorter than the um, ones that come with the camera and the reason for that is 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 that um, you can? It says that you can like, uh, like wrap it around your hand easier. Um, I don't know, but the, the only reason I bought this is because I it looks better than the one that says 5D Mark II, and it has you know nice you know lettering. It's all stitched up, and it looks really great with the 5D Mark II. Um, that's basically all I have um, in my. Uh, little box but um yeah so that's about it and uh my time's almost up so um you know if you live in an area that's kind of mo uh you know humid like japan um you should definitely get one of these especially in the summertime um but you know yeah so uh, if you have any questions about my gear um just leave a comment ask questions and make sure you check out my Flickr photos and let me know how you like them all right thanks